Hi everybody, Robin here, back with more news. Porsche just announced two new trims added to the Macan EV lineup, the base rear-wheel drive Macan and the mid-pack all-wheel drive Macan 4S. A few months ago, I did put a video together covering the first two Macan EV trims, the Macan 4 and the Macan Turbo. I'll have a link to that video in the description and it should pop up on the screen right now. Do check it out when you get the chance. All right, let's dig into the two new trims. The base rear wheel drive Macan still uses the same 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, just like the rest of the lineup. Its motor is also the same as the rear motor of the Macan 4, producing 335 horsepower. However, when you use launch control, you have a temporary overboosted 355 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. That's good enough, Porsche says, to reach 60 miles from rest in just 5.4 seconds. And this base Macan, all electric, will still hit 136 miles an hour. It also weighs 243 fewer pounds than the Macan 4, thanks to the lack of a front motor assembly. And as a result, I have a feeling it will have the best turn in response of any of these new Macans. The new Macan 4S, on the other hand, has the same front motor assembly as the Macan 4 and the Macan Turbo, but its rear motor is unique. Altogether, you get 443 horsepower in the 4S and temporary overboosted bursts of 510 horsepower and in those modes, 578 pound-feet of torque. With launch control, the Macan 4S will go 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, and it will eventually reach 149 miles an hour. By the way, that slots neatly between the 0 to 60 times of the Macan 4, 4.9 seconds, and the Macan Turbo, 3.1 seconds. The Macan 4S will also offer tons of goodies as options, like Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus and rear axle steering. An adaptive air suspension is standard equipment. And just like the other two trims, these are 800 volt systems. Porsche says you can go from 10% to 80% state of charge in just 21 minutes. There is also a new off-road design package, which Porsche will offer on all trims of Macan EV. With it, you'll get a unique front bumper design, which will increase your approach angle to a still, it must be said, modest 17.5 degrees. You'll also get an additional 0.4 inches of ground clearance between 7.6 and 8.8 .8 inches of ground clearance, depending on the setting you have for your adaptive air suspension. Inside, you will see plenty of digital screens in the new Macan EV, including a 10.9 inch passenger screen. In terms of cost, the rear wheel drive base Macan does slot in as the least expensive, starting at $77,295. The Macan 4S starts at $86,295. Not that much more than the Macan 4 actually, but obviously these are not cheap SUVs. Again, I do have a separate video for the Macan 4 and the Macan Turbo, and that video, being the first one on the Macan EVs, does go into a bit more detail. Well, there you have it. Now, four trims for the all new, second generation, all electric Porsche Macan. Porsche is following a very similar path for the Macan that it did for the Taycan. And I do have to say that I very much appreciate that that includes a rear wheel drive version of the Macan. That could be a lot of fun. And of course, as soon as I get the chance to review one, I will be sure to share. I am Robin Warner. Thank you very much for watching.